Hello miners, Rusty coming at you. Another knife video. Uh, you guys have seen this bag before, and it's a Kaiser bag. I had all my uh, 10th anniversary Kaisers in it. And now I have different sets of knives here. What I have, I uh, started into traditional knives. I think I told you guys I was going to do that. And I'll just get these out. <clears throat> these are going to be Rough Rider. And they are a series of knives that I started to collect. And they are called the Faded Blue Jean. So when we talk about a series of knives, we're just talking about knives that sort of all have the same color, look, uh, kind of a ding. Uh, I do want to talk to you today about patterns. I want to talk to you about the series. I want to talk to you just about some knife parts. And I want to encourage you guys to get a traditional knife. So look for this bag, I gotta say, because I'm also going to do a giveaway. And look for the bag. I already did a video about three or four. It's called Bag of Knives. And in that is an Easter egg for a new knife. So let's just kind of display these real quick. What this has is denim micarta. And it has what they call, the, that would be the cover, is the denim, with a red underlay. And that's where you get this red, probably G10. They have a shield, they have bolsters, and we'll save it and go into more. But almost, so all of these are going to have, that's what this series is comprised of. So uh, this particular one is called a cotton sampler. And I'm going to save and make this a short one, and we're going to do uh, videos. I bought, uh, I also saved by patterns. I collected by patterns. So I have more than one cotton sampler. Uh, this would be, of course, a lockback. Okay, we all know the Buck 110. Uh, they traditionally are going to have a clip point, just like this one does. This is not uh, as long as the Buck 110, but interestingly enough, it has a finger choil. So, and it locks up, so it's going to be secure. Oh, what else we got? Oh, this is the Trapper. Now, in this particular one, this is the Trapper Small. And interestingly enough, you'll see my nail uh, actually bending. This one has two nail necks. One here, they call a long pole, and another one here. And these knives would have something known as walk and talk. Uh, and that's going to be how hard is the pole, how hard is it to open these? And that was fairly easy. And whether or not they make a snap like this. Uh, when they close, that's going to dictate the spring strength a lot of times. And a spring strength, because these are non-locking knives, the spring st strength is what we use to keep it from folding. And that's just going to be the strength right here. So this one is called a bow uh, trapper with a single blade. So the trappers typically have a clip point, just like this one, only a bow instead of a normal trapper. I uh, collected a couple of those. I got, I'm going to show off my trapper collection. It's not my favorite pattern, but I think it's the most common. Uh, now this is a bow canoe. And a canoe just a lot like <clears throat> this uh, well, that is a strong one a canoe uh, it'll come up and it will cover uh, the blade ends here so you don't have a tang sticking out uh, so it comes up and covers that now the bow they make them uh, without the you know, more straight than this, and they make them curved. So, on these ones, particular ones, 
if you were holding this, it's got quite a curve in it. So we'll come back. Well, you guys will see my canoe um, patterns, I'm sure. So, uh, like I said, I collected a lot of those. Now, I also picked up in this series the. This one is called a toenail. And there's a lot of knives. Uh, there's going to be a sunfish, and there's going to be an elephant toe, as well as a rhino toe. And again, that refers to a lot of times uh, the pattern. This has two knives, or two blades on each end. And this one is called a clip point. And excuse me, a pen blade. And that would be the same as what we're looking at here. Uh, but because of the size of the knife, it's going to be a bigger. Well, maybe, maybe not. So, um, so this is a little bit like a canoe, only it has more of a cigar or an equal end knife. So when you close this up, it kind of looks like a cigar. So, or both ends are pretty equal. Okay, so guys, if you're with me still, <clears throat> let's talk about this. I said go back and find the video. It looks like this called Big and Knives. Find an Easter egg and find the video to comment on this. You know, I'm gonna do a video for this knife. This is Rough Rider. This is a bow trapper in classic carbon. So these are in 440A, all these knives. This is in T10 tool steel. It's a very much like 1095. It will rust, of course all these will, but it doesn't have any chrome. And so this one is called the bow trapper. It's got a half stop meaning you pull the blade it's sort of a safety feature here and it's got it's great this is a great knife um i collected a bunch of these knives as well and we're going to take a peek so like a trapper it has a clip point blade and then this is called the spade blade but it's got this curve which your traditional trapper doesn't have and I'll tell you what guys this is a nice knife uh, so good luck I will say here in order to win I'm only going to ship domestic US you have to be 18 years and older find the video leave a comment and tell me what you think about traditional knives and knife collecting if you would thanks guys oh and be subscribed please love it if you'd be subscribed thank you bye